Okay, we will continue the class. Okay, tell us about the name. Okay, so there are two types of three phase. Okay, we have seen what are the advantages of three phase, how it's simple phase, and we have seen how three phase uh, systems are uh, or three phase supplies generated using the three phase generator. Okay, now I'm going in deep detail into three phase supply. The first one is there are two types of three phase supply or three phase system. First one is star, star connection. Okay. In star, there are four wires are used for this connection. Yes, in star, there are three, four wires are available. And there is second connection is called the delta. Delta, there are three wires are available. That is a difference. Okay. In star, there are four wires for a three phase system. In delta three phase system, there is only three wires. What is this four wire in star connection? The four wire, the three out of four wire in a star connection is phase, phase line. There are three phase line and one is for neutral. And in the case of delta, there is no neutral line, only it has three phase lines. Okay, again, I will tell you that is there are two types of three phase supply, star and delta. In star, there are four wires, and out of this four wire, three wires are for phase lines, and one wire is for neutral. And for delta connection, we have only three wires, and all these three wires are phase wire. There is no neutral wire. Okay, so that's the difference. We will see how first we will take star connection, and we will understand all these things. This is a diagram for star connection. So how it is drawn? I will explain you. Uh, As I said earlier, there are three, uh, uh, in every three phase, there will be three binding. Okay? So, what I am going to do with the two three binding is I have taken first binding here. It is R. Now it is called R. R, you can say that it will be normally we will be using red wire for this function. And second one is Y. So, I can use yellow color for this. Uh, so, it is not so clear. Can use L or Y. We use for L. See, this is the second binding, and third binding is connected like this. So I should mark this in blue. Okay, so as I said, this is R winding red, this is L, this is D. So what I have done is I have connected one end of this winding to a single pole. Okay, so one end of all this winding to a single pole. This point is called neutral point, or wire taken from this point is called neutral line. So as I said earlier, this is one phase line, okay, red line, and this is second, the second line for Y, this is red, and two phases are I have drawn, and then one more phase is B. So there are three such phases. There are three such phases and Opposite end of all these windings are connected to a common point, and this point is called neutral. 
okay this is how uh, three phase star connections are created or designed okay three phase star lines are designed okay so how a three phase star lines are designed there are three windings three winding one end of all these three windings are connected to a common point and this point is known as neutral the opposite end of all these three windings are phase line they are known as r winding so r wire y wire and d wire or r phase y phase or b phase okay and from this we can say that the star connection a star connection actually has four wire one is r phase y phase and b phase like three phase lines and one neutral line this is how star connection is drawn you can see that it is noted like this and now if you look at this diagram again you can see that there are lot of quantities are marked okay here there are two types of voltage in a star connection what is what are the what are those voltages one is phase voltage phase voltage and another one is line voltage so what is this phase voltage phase voltage mean it is normally measured between a phase and neutral that means for example if you measure a voltage between r phase and neutral this is a phase voltage if you measure a voltage between y phase and neutral that is also called phase voltage if you measure voltage between b phase and neutral it is also called phase voltage so a phase voltage is a voltage which is measured between any one of the phase and neutral ഒരു ഫേസിന്റെ ന്യൂട്രന്റെ മടയിലുള്ള വോൾട്ടേജ് ആണ് ഫേസ് വോൾട്ടേജ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് അവൈലബിൾ ഇൻ ദ്രീ ഫേസ് സിസ്റ്റം ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് കോൾഡ് ലൈൻ വോൾട്ടേജ് ലൈൻ വോൾട്ടേജ് മീൻസ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് എ വോൾട്ടേജ് ബിറ്റ്വീൻ എനി ടു ലൈൻസ് ഓർ എനി ടു ഫേസ് ലൈൻ സോ ഇഫ് യു മെഷർ വോൾട്ടേജ് ബിറ്റ്വീൻ ആർ ഫേസ് ആൻഡ് വൈ ഫേസ് i can note it down v r y v r y so i measure voltage between r phase and y phase the voltage is v r y it is called a line voltage okay a voltage between two phase wire is known as line voltage if you measure voltage between y and b it is also phase voltage sorry line voltage v b y again if you measure voltage between b and r it is also a line voltage vbr okay so there are two types of voltage in a three phase star system one is for every three, uh, three phase connection there are two types of voltage phase voltage phase voltage means it is the potential difference between any one phase and neutral okay for example vr vr is measured between r phase and neutral then vy vy is measured between y phase and neutral vb it is measured between b phase and neutral all these voltages are called phase voltage and we have also one more voltage that is line voltage it is the potential difference between any two phase so if you measure voltage between r and y phase r and y phase it is line voltage voltage between r and y then voltage between b and y is another line voltage voltage between b and r is also another line voltage okay idonu varachedathodu ee diagram pass aagidathu
Okay, again, I will explain me star connection. You should take a three phase star connection. There are four wires, three wires are for phase length, and one wire is for neutral. Okay, how neutral line is created in a three phase, three phase star connection? One end of all three windings are connected to a common point, and that common point is known as neutral point. And then, what else we should remember? There are two types of voltage in a two-phase system. One is phase voltage, and second one is sine voltage. What is phase voltage? It is the voltage between one phase and motor. So there are three phase voltages: V R, V Y, and V B. And what is line voltage? It is a voltage between two lines. For example, V R Y, V Y B. Pr. And then two more current also. Phase current means current in the winding. Okay. Phase current means current in the winding. Line current means current in the line. That is very easy to remember. Actually. Phase current means current in the winding. So there are three winding. So current in winding uh, R is I R. Current in winding B is I B. And then winding Y is I by. Okay, now the task is. Okay, now we are going to draw it. Let's try this system. Now the task is we have to find a relationship between phase voltages and line voltage, and line current and phase current for star connection, and also for delta connection we have to do. It. Okay, first we will go for star connection. We should find a relationship between line voltage and phase voltage. Okay, it is very easy. What you do is, I'm going to delete all these things. Okay, for example, I'm taking one phase voltage. So, example for one phase voltage is V R Y. So this is phase voltage. This line voltage. V R. So I am going to consider one line voltage. So it is the voltage between two lines. So I have taken V R Y. That means it is a voltage between uh, V R and V Y. So what I can do is. V R Y. Okay, what is this V R Y actually? It is the potential difference between R winding and Y winding. Or it is the potential difference between V R and V Y. So I can write V R Y is equal to V R minus V Y. Okay, so line voltage means what? It is the potential difference between two lines. And for example, in okay, the example one I am going to do. So for this case, I am taking V R Y. So V R Y is the potential difference between this the potential difference between V R and V Y. Okay, so V R minus V Y. 
Now, uh, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to draw the tracer diagram of four phase, three phase phase. So first I have drawn VY, so VR, so this is VR, 120 degree away to VR, I can go VY, and from the degree away from that, I can go B B. So this again is very okay. So again, V R I is equal to V R I is equal to this is this is line voltage. We should not touch this line voltage. This is a line voltage and Voltage. And we can say that it is a potential difference between R and Y. So I can write V R Y is equal to V R minus V V R minus V Y. Potential difference between V R minus V Y. Or potential difference between R and Y. Okay, then we have to draw the phasor diagram. Phasor diagram I am drawing like this. So this is the phasor for R winding. So we are voltage phasor of R winding. Then I am going voltage phasor of Y winding V Y. Then I am drawing voltage phasor of V Y. Now what I need is mathematically I have to find out V R minus V Y. So this is V R voltage is our vector quantity, phasor diagram. Okay, actually phasor, phasor and V Y also phasor. So I should find out what is V R minus V Y. Or I can say that I can find out V R plus minus V Y. Both are same. Okay, we are minus V Y and we are plus minus V Y also same. What I'm going to do is I'm going to extend this phasor diagram V Y to opposite direction. That means it will become minus V Y. What I have done is in order to find the potential difference V R minus V Y. Okay, what I have done is. I have extended VY to opposite direction. Now I got VY. So if I find resultant of these two, I will get VR minus VY. So if I find the resultant of these two vector, if I add these two vector, that is VR plus minus VY, I will get resultant, that is VR minus Vy. I have taken the we have learned that there are two types of voltage, one is line voltage and phase voltage. Okay, we need to find out that is there any relationship between line voltage and phase voltage. We know that line voltage means it is a voltage between two lines. Line voltage means voltage between two lines. For example, V R Y voltage between R line and Y line. And phase voltage means it is a voltage between line and a neutral. That is V R. Example is V R. This voltage at R is measured with respect to neutral. And for this line voltage, I know that P R Y. For example, V R Y. It is the potential difference between R and Y, so I can write VR by equal to VR minus V by. Okay. So for making phasor analysis much more easier, what I have done is I have changed VR minus V by into VR plus minus V by. That do only mean that. For sure, vector addition, CM and it phasor addition CM and it. I plus select my. Phasor subtraction, jail or subdivided diagram. Okay, 
Then what I have done? I know that Vr plus minus Vy is the equation. Then I have taken this phasor diagram. The phasor diagram. Okay, I have taken this phasor diagram. So what I have done is I have extended this Vy into negative direction. So that it becomes minus Vy. Minus Vy. Then I have taken the resultant of both. Resultant of both means one is Vr. Second one is minus Vy. So Vr plus minus Vy. So it automatically become Vr minus Vy. So we got line voltage from that. So then what I am going to do is. Then I am going to complete this diagram. How I am going to complete this diagram? Uh, I have connected these two lines like this. And these two lines like this. So that it becomes a parallelogram. So what I can say that if I draw another line like this, it will exactly cut the middle, or it will exactly cut in the middle of this parallelogram. Okay. Now what I am going to do is I am going to mark a point O here, and I am going to mark a point B here, and I am going to mark a point C here. So origin I have marked as O. The first point I have marked as B, and the end I have marked as C. So now what I am going to do is I can say that the vector V R minus V Y I can write it as O C. Why? Why I can write like this? Because length of vector is from origin it is C. Okay, O C I can write, and I can replace that because of it is a parallelogram. I can say that O C is equal to two O B because it is exactly divided in the half. Half portion lana exactly divided. So O C I can substitute O C more in the total distance more in the two into O B I. O C means it is two into O B. Okay, so I'm going to do that from the diagram. OC is equal to OC is equal to two OB. Now, my next question is: I don't know what is the value of OB. Because the value of OB is very high. I'm telling you, can't do it. No. OB can't be written. OB, no matter relevant or unknown, all. But what I know is, I know VR. VR is the, VR is the. Wait a minute. Okay. So uh, I don't know what is OB and OC now. I know VR. What is VR? VR is a uh, phase voltage. It is a voltage between line and a neutral. Okay. So I know VR, and I also know that. So the thing is, very important thing I didn't learn. I also know that. The angle between these two is one to the degree, and angle between these two also one to the degree. Then my question is, what will be the angle? What will be this angle? The angle and the angle. Are you going to tell me that? Okay. So when I have drawn V Y to opposite direction, this 120 degree will be equally divided 60 and 60. Okay, 60 and 
okay this part also 60 again when i drawn the resultant vector this 60 is again divided into 30 and 30 so this angle will be 30 so if i know vr and 30 can i find out ob that is the question vr angle mariyanengil namaku ob kandupidikkan pattu aarengil parnu thanne I know VR. VR is hypotenuse. And angle I know 30. I want to find out OB. OB is the adjacent side. So how to find out OB? Cos 30 is equal to Cos 30 is equal to Cos 30 is equal to OB divided by VR. Cos 30 is equal to OB, that is adjacent side OB divided by VR. VR is the hypotenuse. Okay, so I can write OB is equal to VR into cos 30. So what I can do is I can write 2 into VR into cos 30. Cos 30 the value and the grip cos 30 the value and Cos 30 is root 3 divided by 2. So what I can do is I can cancel these two together. E2, E2 cancel here. So I can write and then the final item of V R minus V Y. is equal to and then the root 3 vr you can write vr minus v y is equal to root 3 vr you can write that way this is what we have to do vr minus v y is equal to the voltage and the line voltage okay vr minus v y is equal to the line voltage and vr is phase voltage so I can say that line voltage is equal to root 3 phase voltage. Conclusion. Line voltage is equal to root 3 phase voltage. This is easy to do derivation. This is a diagram. This is a diagram. This is a diagram. Okay, clear up answer and all. I'm going to explain to you that. Okay, I'm going to explain to you that. Okay, I'm going to explain to you that. We have to find out the relationship between line voltage and phase voltage. So what we are going to do is, we are going to consider one of the line voltage. That is, line voltage is VR. This line voltage. Okay, line voltage. And we know that V R Y is the potential difference between R and Y. So what I can write V R Y is equal to V R minus V Y. So then what I am going to do is for analysis purpose, you know, in one floor, we have a phasor diagram. Very easy to method like convert the analysis. Based on the analysis, okay. So I am rewriting V R minus V Y is equal to V R plus minus V Y. So phase addition is healthy and we can manage it. 
then what we are going to do is we are going to draw the tracer diagram of two trees. So each voltages are placed at 90 degree away. That is, this is VR. This is V by. This is V. V. Then, in order to make it as V R plus minus V by, what I have done is I have extended V by into opposite side. So this is minus V by. So then I know that the angle between V R and V B is 120 degree. So when I draw minus V by, this will become 60. Opposite side also will become 60. And now I am going to take the resultant. Resultant exactly lies in the center, and the angle between the resultant and VR is now 30. Then I am going to join all these things together. So this is VR minus VY. So I am going to join all this. Now it forms a parallelogram. I can say that this side is equal to this side. I am going to take three points. One is four. One is B, one is C, and I can say that O C is equal to two O B. Then I can write V R minus V Y, V R minus V Y. That is the resultant vector, the resultant phasor is equal to O C, total length of the phasor of അത് നമ്മൾ എടുത്ത പോയിന്റ് ആണ് അല്ലെ ഒ ബി സിയിൽ ആ റിസൾട്ട് വെക്ടർ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ഇതാണ് ഈ ഒരു പോയിന്റ് ആണ് ഇത് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് വി ആറിന്റെയും വി വൈന്റെയും ഫേസ് റെഡീഷൻ ആണ് വി ആർ മൈനസ് വി വൈ സോ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ഒ സി ഐ ക്യാൻ റീ റൈറ്റ് ഒ സി ബിക്കോസ് ഒ സി ഇസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു ടു ഒ ബി ഐ ക്യാൻ റൈറ്റ് ടു ഒ ബി ഹിയർ ആൻഡ് നൗ ഐ ക്യാൻ ഫൈൻഡ് ഔട്ട് വാട്ട് ഇസ് ഒ ബി ബിക്കോസ് വി ആർ ഇസ് ദ ഹൈപോർട്ട് ന്യൂസ് ഒ ബി ഇസ് ദ അഡ്ജസ്റ്റൻ സൈഡ് So I can say that cos 30 is equal to cos 30 is equal to V uh, OB OB divided by adjacent side divided by V R. So that I can write OB is equal to cos 30 V R. So to into V R into cos 30. Where cos 30 is root 3 by 2. Cos 30 is root 3 by 2. We can cancel 2 here. So finally, I can write root 3 via. So I can say that the phase voltage is equal to, sorry, line voltage is equal to. This is line voltage. Line voltage is equal to root 3 phase voltage. So that is the derivation. and about line current and phase current now it is very easy in terms of star connection because uh, what is line current phase current is the current in the winding line current is the current in the line line you can see that ee oru winding ne varuna current ne ee otte line lode mathre povan pattu alle ee line winding ne varuna current ne var path onnu illa engotte povan pattu line lode mathre povan pattu so i can say that line current in a star connection is equal to phase current in the star connection okay line current to phase current are equal and there is no need to do any derivation here so this is our derivation the final answer i will write line voltage is equal to root 3 phase voltage line current is equal to phase current ingena namukku expression kittaya ഓക്കെ എന്തെങ്കിലും മനസ്സിലായി എന്ന് വിചാരിക്കുന്നു ഇത് എന്തായാലും പഠിക്കണം നല്ല ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻ്റ് ആയ വളരെ ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻ്റ് ആയ ഒരു 